Do you need to spice up your dating life? This episode is brought to you by Pioneer, making meals into memories since 1851. You want dinner with Bonnie? You gotta impress me. I might be taking Bonnie to dinner. Welcome to Mama's Choice, the dating show where this hard to please Southern mama will interview three hopeful bachelors for a chance to go on a date with our highly eligible bachelorette, Bonnie. I am here looking for love, or as we say, the bare minimum. So I've gone on the dating apps and I've made mistakes and I feel like it's time for somebody else to maybe take control of this and who else better to do it than a Southern mama? Hello, my name is Talia. I am a Southern mama and today I'm going to be picking out a date, a boyfriend, a future husband. I'm gonna put these boys through the ringer. Let's see. What's up? My name's Corey. I'm 31 years fun. I'm a small business owner, and if you don't pick me for the date, you done lost your mind, but I'll help you find it. Hi, my name is Umar, and I'm 28 years old. I'm a graduate student getting my Master's of Public Health and Master's of Business Administration. If you need a cup of brown sugar in your life, then I'm your guy. Hi, my name is Ben Gaojo. I'm 27 years old. I'm a PhD student studying immunology at UAB. You should go out with me because I think I'm fun, I'm curious, and I think we're gonna have some great experiences together. Hi, Corey. Hi. I'm Talia. Today, I'm going to be deciding if you're good enough to take Bonnie out to dinner. Prepare to be judged. <laughs> so tell me, sir, how would your friends describe you? My friends would say that I'm very caring, just an all-around fun person to be around, just a good time. My friends would describe me as artsy, likes going to shows, very kind and funny. My friends know I like to have fun, and they even call me the fun factory because I just keep producing and I keep producing and I keep producing until you're sick of it. And then you'd be like, you shut up, Corey, you shut your mouth. And it's just like, I, I just keep bringing it. Be honest. Mm -hmm. When is the last time that you called your mama and what did you talk about? Yesterday, my mama had actually found a coupon book I made her when I was probably 10 years old. I will do dishes for you for two months. This coupon expires never. Well, the last time I called my mom was yesterday and it was to see how she was doing. And how's she doing? She's doing great. She's, okay. she's, she's, she's crushing it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Corey's mom. Uh, this is pretty easy. The last time I called my mom uh, was three days ago, and I called to wish her a happy birthday and uh, to thank her for being such a great mom. Okay, but you gotta call your mama on her birthday. <laughs> so when is the next time that you're gonna call your mom? Uh, the next time I'll call my mom will probably be this weekend. She's, she's in Nigeria, so she worries. So tell us what your sign is and what you think that says about you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I am a Virgo. I think people have told me that Virgos are meticulous or organized. I don't know too much about it, but I think it's fun. I know my sign, it's uh, Sagittarius. I know Sagittarius that have like an independent streak and I would say yes, that probably feeds uh, who I am. Sun sign, I'm an Aries. April 10th, baby. That means I'm gonna, I can take control of the date if you want me to, where we're gonna eat and what kind of fun we're gonna have because we're gonna have quite a bit of it. Speaking of where you're gonna eat, if I choose you for this first date with Bonnie, where would you take her? The first thing that I would do is would meet up at a museum. I like art and I'd like to see what her take on some of those uh, things would be. I recently found out that a lot of people's personal water bottles can hold an entire bottle of wine. I'd love to take a water bottle to the park and chit chat and learn about each other and enjoy the weather. That's easy, we're gonna eat at Chili's because now they got $5 margaritas and also the triple dipper sliders for low, low price of $6.99 for the rest of the month. Oh yeah, baby. Is this sponsored? <laughs> like, I mean, that's, that's cool, right? How would you show Bonnie that you are a Southern gentleman? while you were on this date. I think the way that I would do that the most would just be making her feel heard and feel valued with whatever she's contributing. To show that I'm a Southern gentleman, I would open all the doors for her in a fun way uh, and also uh, close them in an equally fun way behind her when she's gone through them. Well, I'm not from the South. I've been to several different places in the world and what really counts is uh, being kind, honest about who you are, 
and uh, just be as open as possible. You are underneath Bonnie's bedroom window. You are serenading her. What song are you singing? I'm going to go like a not typical choice and probably go with Yo My Saint by Karen L and Michael Kiwanuka. My heart, it is in bulletproof from visions of you. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I can show you the world shining, shimmering, splendid over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride a whole new world one go on a day with me two go on a day with me three go on a day with me and we can go to chili's and four drink five dollar margaritas five four ninety nine Five ninety nine triple dipper sliders. Go on a day with me. You get a point for being on pitch. Let's head to the lightning round to give these bachelors one more chance to impress our southern mama. All right, are you ready? Sweet or unsweet? Sweet. Unsweet. Unsweet. Instagram or TikTok? Instagram. Sweet or sour pickles? No pickles. Sour pickles. None. Bachelor party in Nashville or New Orleans? Uh, take me to New, New Orleans. Orleans. Sugar or no sugar in cornbread? No sugar in cornbread. Sugar. <laughs> KFC or Popeyes? Ooh, Popeyes. I gotta say KFC. My dad actually worked for KFC corporate. I've never had Popeyes, uh, so I'll just go with KFC. Biscuit or cornbread? Biscuit. 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 I've got some pondering to do. As the bachelors take a break from her interrogation, Talia sits down with Bonnie to discuss her potential suitors. All right, bachelor number one. I could tell that he was a fun guy, but honestly, I think he was a little too fun. Life is quite often not fun. Also, I'm pretty sure my Korean grandma had the same exact glasses. And that was hard for me to unsee. Bachelor number two. So very charming and so very charismatic. I was looking for some flaws and I didn't see any and I don't think I trust that. He had great hair. Oh, I meant to ask him what hair products he uses. Bachelor number three. He smiles a lot and it's really pretty. He only talks to his mom once a week. Maybe he should call his mom a little more often. If you had to choose what's more important to you, hair or smile? Oh. Knowing that they both have good smiles and they both have good hair, but if one has a great smile and one has great hair. Maybe I'd say like a smile, the, the feeling you get from someone when they smile at you. And their hair is an added bonus. I mean, I love good hair, but. Um... But you also don't want your man stealing all your hair products. Yeah. So this is a very difficult decision. So I've got to go with my gut. I think I've made my choice. If he breaks Bonnie's heart, I will find him. Let's bring him in. One, two, three. Hi. Hey. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm excited. If you want to go on a date, we should totally do it. I think we should. Yeah. I'm really down. You do have great hair. Thank they were you. right. They were correct. I'm a little nervous, um, but also relieved. You know, just hearing his answers and stuff like that, I'm just excited, you know, to get this wine bottle in the park and see how it goes. We need to get, get a water bottle first. The water, <laughs> yeah, we have to get the water bottle. <laughs> and that's all, folks. Which bachelor would you pick? Let us know in the comments below. From biscuits to gravy and almost every craveable dish in between, delicious taste and kitchen confidence starts with Pioneer. I feel fine. Uh, I'm a little let down. Um, you know, those, those triple dipper sliders and the $5 margaritas are for one. It's, it'd be, still be, it's still gonna be fun, you know, just, just not as much fun. <laughs>